Hi guys and welcome to Berg Mitsubishi. My name's Jamie and today we're going to walk around video on this 2015 Holden Commodore Evoque. Um, as you can see, front of the car does present in really good condition. Um, no marks that are really worth pointing out um, on the front of the car, not even really any stone chips at all. Um, and then you've got that nice big blacked out grill with also the chrome um, garnishes on the outside as well. Uh, we do have front parking sensors on this car as well, so that's something good to worth noting. Uh, we'll come around the car and we'll, look, we'll stop at our first wheel. Um, as you can see on this alloy wheel, absolutely no rushing at all. Uh, there is a, a couple of rock chips here and there, but you know, with the you are driving, so these things do happen. Um, and these tyres, really good life left on those tyres as well. Coming down the vehicle again, um, side indicator is integrated into the side fender, in, into that air vent. This is not a functional air vent, it's just for the aesthetics, so please don't be mistaken. Um, Colour-coded exterior mirrors and door handles. Um, and as you can see, the two doors do present in really good condition. Being white, you wouldn't really be able to see any scratches or anything like that anyway. Uh, coming down, as you can see, a few filler cap is on the driver's side as well. And then we'll just come and stop at our uh, second wheel. As you can see again, really good condition. A couple tiny little marks here and there. Again, probably a couple stone chips. Um, tires on these, again, really good life left out of those tires as well. Coming around down to the back. As you can see again, Evoke badging, SID eye badging as well and obviously that holding badging in the middle. Uh, we, again, we have our reverse parking sensors on the back as well. Um, and if we just take a look inside the boot as well, as you can see, plenty of storage being a wagon. Um, and then if we take a look under here, we have our space saver spare wheel as well. Um, in this little pocket here, you've got a little cargo net so things don't go flying out, and you also got a 12 volt socket so you can maybe put a mini fridge or something like that in the back as well. Close that up. Come around the side and we'll stop at our third wheel on the passenger side. As you can see again, really good condition this wheel. Again, a couple little stone chips here and there. Um, and tread on this tire is just as good as the others. Work your way down the vehicle again. Again, nothing worth pointing out. It presents in really good condition. It does need a little bit of clean. We do apologize about that. Uh, we'll stop at our fourth and final wheel. As you can see, just like the others, really good condition. This one does have a little minor uh, scuff mark on it due to being the wheel that you can't see while you're parking. But other than that, really good condition. Um, tread on those tires, just as good as the other three as well. So all good tires on those. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll pop the bonnet and take a look at the engine. All right guys, take a look underneath the bonnet now. What we have here is a three liter V6. Uh, this V6, V6 engine is a petrol engine that produces 185 kilowatts and 290 newton meters of torque. Uh, this car is a six speed sports automatic. Uh, this car averages around 8.6 litres every 100 k's, which is going to give you a fuel maximum distance of uh, 1,060, which is pretty good out of a V6 engine. Taking a look inside the car now, we'll start off on the driver's side door. As you can see, we have all our power mirror controls and power window controls as well. Also a button that does light up when you lock the windows as well. Uh, central locking button just up here, so obviously lock and unlock. Um, just, just next to that we have our um, headlights, you can just leave these headlights on order, so that will do all the work by itself. Um, also a button here just to adjust the brightness inside the cluster. Um, talking about the cluster, there also is a menu button here, just to flick through, and um, it gives you your battery voltage, your kilometers, um, average speed, just certain things like that. Um, and obviously on that stalk we have our indicators as well. Left hand stalk, our wipers. On the steering wheel, as you can see, really good condition in the steering wheel. Um, all our media control settings on the right hand side and then all our cruise control settings on the left hand side. Into the centre screen itself, as you can see, nice display centre, um, sorry not centre screen, nice display screen. Uh, you have AM, FM radio, AUX, Bluetooth and USB. Um, it is a touch screen just to show you that, as you can see. Um, also does have a nice display reverse camera. Um, also when you do turn the wheel, the lines will turn as well. And then you also have the park assist, so if you don't want the camera and you just want the reverse parking sensors, these uh, lines will change depending how close you get to the uh, to whatever you're parking next to. Just below that, all your hard buttons for the touchscreen. So we'll put that back in park real quick. So obviously it is touchscreen, but you do have the hard buttons as well. And then just below that again, all your hard buttons for your dual zone climate control. So the passenger can have a different temperature to the driver. Just below that again, little storage compartment with your 12 volt socket, probably somewhere where you put your phone and charge it. Um, and obviously not touch it while you're driving. And then our, as I was saying before, our six-speed automatic gearbox. You can drive it as a normal automatic or put into what they call sport shift and you can shift through the gears manually. Um, just, be just below that, little storage compartment again. And then you have a couple buttons on the side here, traction control button, 
um, button where this car can actually parallel park itself so it does have the right amount of room it can obviously park itself and also a button to turn off the reverse parking sensors and the front parking sensors as well. Uh, we also have our electronic handbrake so just up is on and down is off. Two cup holders, our key. Uh, this key actually does have remote start too so when the car is locked you can hold down this button the car will start itself. Uh, just next to that we obviously have our center console 12 volt socket, USB AUX, um, and also plenty of storage in there as well. What we'll do now, guys, is we'll uh, take a quick pan of the interior. Uh, we'll show you the condition of the car. As you can see, it does present a really good condition for the age of the vehicle. Se only 71,000 kilometers on the clock. Um, and then what we'll do now is we'll jump outside the car and we'll wrap up the video. the time of day to watch the video on the 2015 Holden Commodore Evoque. Um, as you can see it does present in really good condition so please give us a call on 9907 if you have any inquiries or you'd like to book a test drive. Um, this car will also qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. That's going to give you 10 years up to 200,000 kilometers of roadside assistance and also five years of mechanical um, protection as well. So please again give us a call on 9907 My name is Jamie and thanks for watching.